Welcome back, fight fans. Thanks for joining me on another edition of The Fight Game. I'm your host, Keeler, the Mind Body Coach. So I want to talk to you today about Wilder versus Fury. The post-fight discussions about a robbery almost took away from what was a great event. And it seemed like everyone was coming out with videos trying to shape the narrative and, and tell you who won. So I went back and watched the fight. And after rewatching it a few times, I realized that there's one definitive winner. It wasn't a draw. And for the sakes of that one definitive winner, we need to expose that it is indeed a robbery. So what we're going to do is score this fight round by round and highlight each and every punch that landed. We will use traditional boxing scoring methods to score each round. And then we'll tally it up and we'll see who has the most points at the end of the day. Now, um, there were a lot of punches that didn't connect, that looked like they connected. And I made sure I went through it thoroughly to only count and highlight the ones that actually landed. So let's find out definitively who actually won Wilder versus Fury. as much as no. it was smothering, but right, it took I him agree. into play. There's another jab by There's Fury. There's a jab by Fury. So far, the jab of Fury has been more effective. He's actually the only one that's landed a jab. Still early, though, it's Deontay has to well, work a little bit differently to find his range. Fury the guy. will play those mind games like... Alright, so at the end of round 1, Wilder scored 11 punches, possibly 12 punches, with 1 solid cross, 6 hooks, 4, possibly 5 jabs. Whereas Fury landed 10, possibly 11 punches, 1 illegal shot, 1 uppercut, 6 hooks, 3 jabs, possibly 4 jabs. So the difference in this round was really 1 point. So, I would give that round either to Wilder or make it a draw, simply because Wilder has more punches and is the aggressor and had control of the fight. But it was so close, I could, I could see it a draw, but it is one point for Wilder. Round two. So at the end of round two, Wilder's score is 13 points, landing one uppercut, seven hooks, and five jabs. Fury's score is seven punches, landing three hooks and four jabs. So obviously, this round belongs to Wilder. For more punches, he was the aggressor and had control. 10-9 Wilder, round three. the end of round three, Wilder's score is nine, landing one uppercut, four hooks, and four jabs. 
whereas Fury score is 12, landing 4 hooks, 1 cross, and 7 jabs. So obviously, this round belongs to Fury. Concluding round 4, Wilder scores 10, landing 3 hooks and 7 jabs. Fury score is 5, landing 1 hook and 4 jabs. So this round, definitely Wilder's. More punches, ring control, and aggression. At the end of round 5, Wilder's score is 9, with 1 uppercut, 7 hooks, and 5 jabs. So Fury's score is 12, with 5 hooks and 7 jabs. So round 5 I give to Tyson Fury. He wasn't the aggressor, or he didn't really control to me, but he definitely had more punches, so 10-9 Fury. Scores 21 points, landing 6 hooks, 15 jabs, 1 counter hook. Fury scores 18 points with an uppercut, a cross, 3 hooks, and 13 jabs. So this round, I give to Wilder. More punches, the aggressor, but didn't control. This is what Wilder isn't doing. Wilder just isn't landing any punches. Fury can away with So at the conclusion of round 7, Wilder lands 12 punches, 1 back fist, 1 cross, 4 hooks, and 7 jabs. Fury scores 10 points, landing 5 crosses and 5 jabs. So round 7 I give to Wilder for more punches, aggression, and control. 10-9 Wilder. At the conclusion of round number 8, Wilder scored 14 punches, landing 2 crosses, 3 hooks, and 9 jabs. Fury scored 9, possibly 12 points, landing 1 cross, 2 hooks, 6 jabs. Um, he possibly landed about 3 more jabs that I, that I couldn't necessarily count, but let's count them for this one. So, even counting those three punches that may or may have not landed um wilder still wins this round by two punches and more aggression and control 
So round eight belongs to Wilder, 10-9. So one thing I can say about the fight thus far is that the commentary is definitely biased. Number one, they call shots that didn't land. They go back to one minute and 31 of the past round. Then they would say, sh they say shots that miss when it actually landed. Um, I turned the sound off for this one, so you can't really hear a lot of the bias commentary, but there are parts when I left it on. Anyway, Wilder won that round. On to the next one. So Wilder ends round number 9 with 23 points, uh, 4 crosses, 14 hooks, and 5 jabs for a total of 23 punches. Fury only landed 12 significant punches, 2 uppercuts, 3 crosses, 4 hooks, and 3 jabs. Round 9, Wilder. Effective striking, knockdown, control. 10-8, Wilder. Wilder only landed four significant punches in this one, one cross, two hooks, and one jab. Whereas Fury landed 20 significant punches, one uppercut, four cross, six hooks, and nine jabs. Round 10, Fury, effective punches, aggression, and control, 10-8, Fury. So at the end of that round, Wilder scores 12 punches, 1 uppercut, 1 cross, 5 hooks, and 5 jabs. Fury scores a total of 9 punches, 3 hooks, and 6 jabs. Even if there were some jabs that were close that I didn't count, we could still say it would be even if I did miss 3 jabs back there. But nonetheless, I'm going to say round 11 belongs to Wilder. Effective punches, control, and aggression.
So at the end of the last round, Wilder scored 13 significant punches, 3 crosses, 6 hooks, and 4 jabs, whereas Fury scored 12 significant punches, 2 crosses, 5 hooks, 5 jabs. Also, that fight should have been stopped, because instead of saying that Fury rose from the dead, if you get knocked out and you wake back up, no, the fight's over, you got knocked out. There are many fights where a boxer was still conscious, still able to defend himself, and it was waved off. That fight should have been waved off. Nonetheless, Wilder won that round. Whoever says that this dude came back to win the round, nonsense. All right, so from that, it's pretty obvious who won the fight. The winner is Wilder. And it's not a robbery at all. Fury essentially gave up rounds. Fury would fight Wilder and hang back the entire time, baiting Wilder into attacking. And then he would dodge, and then he would dodge, and then he would dodge. And then he'd hit him a couple times. 100 punches. I just counted all the punches that connected. And they said it was like 71 punches for Wilder that connected. Well, I mean, I counted over, what is it? I counted 140. 48 punches that landed for Wilder and 141 punches for Fury. They counted a 71 for Wilder and 89 for Fury. But we have the we have the we have the proof right there. We can just go back and look and see clearly how many punches landed. I counted them out, we counted what specific punches landed. You can go back and count yourself. Those graphics that are going around the internet are completely wrong. Wilder landed more punches. If Wilder threw 300 punches and landed 100, Fury threw 89 or 90 punches and landed... No, nah, actually, that's, that's generous. Fury would have thrown like 150 and landed 90. That's really the story of it. He was outpointed by one or two, one or two shots and he was not the aggressor. And he was not the one controlling. He was walking away from the fight and getting hit. With some rounds being very close, but if you look at the punch count, Wilder was up by two, three punches. You know, so you have to give the guy who hits and doesn't get hit. Fury wasn't getting hit that much, but Wilder was throwing a lot of punches. And when Fury threw, he missed a couple. And then he caught a couple. But at the end of the day, Wilder landed more. He won that match. There is no controversy. But there has been a robbery. The Mexican judge, I believe, he was the one who had it Wilder 115-110. He's the only one that got it right. In fact, Jack Reeves should have waved off that fight. It was over. Fury was knocked out. You wave off the fight after that. If anything, Jack Reeves came, coming over him waving like that and screaming in his face woke him up. And brought him back. But congratulations to Fury for getting back to his feet. I'm glad they let it rock. But technically, Wilder beat Fury twice in one night. He knocked him out and he beat him on the beat him by decision. If you don't believe me, go back to go back. The proof is in the pudding. There's no arguing. We have we see the shots that landed, and he landed more shots. He outpointed him but missed a lot of shots in the process and looked one-dimensional. Yeah, that's true. He looked one-dimensional. He looked very one-dimensional as if he only had one the same punches over and over. And he missed them a lot. But then he caught more than Fury did because Fury didn't do much. And I think the reason Fury didn't engage and try to finish Wilder is because he was afraid of getting knocked out. So he fought safe. In fact, Fury fought like Floyd Mayweather. If Floyd Mayweather versus Castillo, if he got dropped twice in that fight, you would have been like Floyd lost. Look, Fury lost on points. And he got knocked out. And he got a chance to get back up. And for those of you saying he won the rest of the round, don't be stupid. If we count the punches for the rest of that round, it was like 11 and 12 or something like that. Wilder had one more punch than Fury had. And one more punch plus a knockout means you won that round. So with that in mind, 
Um, the conspiracy here is on the part of, listen, when I first heard that, oh, this got to be conspiracy, it's a, it's, a, it's a robbery, look, people don't cheat in favor of the black American guy. That That's usually not the case. That's why other Americans were booing him. You get me? So, the fact is, it's a UK ref. The UK ref should have waved that fight off. That's fact. Um, and, yeah. Wilder won. He can make adjustments, and I don't really see what Fury's going to do different. Besides press the action, and it'll probably just get him hit with that punch sooner. The conspiracy here is on the network showtime because their commentary was biased as hell. I kept on hearing things from the commentators that was not happening. Fury's the only one landing. He hasn't landed a single jab. I did it in slow motion. And then compared it to when you do land a jab, there's a, there's a reaction in the head when you land the jab. There was no jab landed. Not calling some of um, some of uh, Wilder shots. It was definitely biased. And if you turn the commentary off and, and just watch the fight, you will think that Fury didn't really do anything besides not get hit and then get hit and got up. If you call that winning, well, congratulations. What a victory. And with that, let's call it a day, fight fans. Thanks for tuning in. Share this video and um, stick around for much more. Remember to smash that like button. 